Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Spencer here with part three of our Shaltari tips and tactics. And today we're going to be talking about a newer set of units in the Shaltari army. These are Battle Striders. Uh, there are currently two that are available. There's the Tarantula and the Bird Eater. Uh, these are much smaller walkers than the War Striders. Uh, a little squatter, different body style, and really designed more of a support uh, than a full frontal attack. So I thought we'd take a look at each of these individually and go over a couple of tactics you can use with them. All right, so let's start with the Bird Eater. These are any aircraft specific walkers. Uh, you can see they've got the twin ion cannons on top, much like the Kukri tank or the Jaguar uh, War Strider. So these guys are actually pretty impressive. Uh, they're armor eight with a move of six, uh, five up countermeasure, uh, passive save, two damage points each, and they're 58 points a pop, and they can come in squads of two. Uh, the neat thing is they are a mass of 1.5, which means you can pop two of these out of a single Eden gate. So you don't need to take a uh, big heavy gate to uh, drop out a lot of these, uh, unlike, say, a squadron of uh, Jaguars. So as far as weapons go, the, like I said, they have the twin ion cannons, Energy 6, 4 shots, uh, accuracy of 3+, plus, uh, move and fire of 6. Uh, the cool thing they also have are, I don't know where they actually are on the models here, but they have a laser pod, which is an Energy 7, 1 shot, uh, 2 plus accuracy with infinite range, even when countered. So, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a front, so I think it's this little divot here in the front. So... It's, it's got a good sort of medium anti-tank weapon on it as well, but that's not really what these guys are designed for. They are designed for taking out aircraft. Uh, if, you know, you have two of these in a squad, you're going to get eight ion cannon shots. Uh, they also have a new rule, which is called Climber, where instead of making a normal move, they can climb or descend to or from the roof of a building that is less than seven inches high and within two inches of any wall. So essentially... When you start their activation, these guys can go from here to here as their movement. So it's really cool because it lets these guys get on top of buildings, which gives them a huge advantage because once you're up here and you've got, you know, any aircraft guns sitting way up here on top of a building, you have a lot more board control now and it's going to be a lot harder for your opponent to move aircraft around. And it's cool they can go up seven inches because it's actually more than their movement, uh, their normal move value. But this is a huge tactical advantage. Of course, the disadvantage is they only have two damage points. They're armor eight, so they aren't too terribly fragile, but they aren't going to be doing much good against uh, any heavy ships that really just sort of bring the pain. But... Yeah, parking a couple of these guys on top of a building or even taking two squads of them because they're support choice so you can fit them into most uh, most battle groups because a lot of them can take support. You can kind of have these guys, just a couple of squads of them littered across the battlefield just hanging out on top of the buildings and, like I said, really giving you a lot of board control and really having to make your opponent rethink how they're going to move because you're going to have all this anti-aircraft fire sitting way up on buildings, which is going to make it harder for your opponent's tanks to shoot at them. And really, you're going to have to fight them with aircraft. So, yeah, the Bird Eaters are really a cool unit, and I'm very thrilled with how they came out. Uh, and they're going to be the bane of many airborne lists. All right, so the other type of uh, battle strider you have are the Tarantulas. And these guys are pretty much a dedicated anti-tank unit. Uh, they have a very similar stat line, pretty much the exact same stat line to the Bird Eater. Armor 8, move 6, 5 up save, 2 damage points. The cool thing about these is they cost a little less, they're only 55 points a model, and you can run them up in squads of 6. So these guys are really going to be nightmares for people who bring things like, say, the Hades Heavy Walker for PHR. So weapon-wise, uh, the tarantula has the same little front-mounted laser pod, but then it's got this crazy looking weapon on its back, and that is a gravity cannon. Now the way the gravity cannon works is uh, it's 
energy is not listed. It doesn't have a set energy. It's one shot, two plus accuracy, 18 inch range, move and fire six. The way its energy works is based on your target. It's based on the original damage points of your target and their armor. And you consult a chart and that tells you what you need to damage them. So, for example, let's say this is a situation you've run across. You've got a unit of three tarantulas and your opponent rolls up a gladius heavy battle tank. So it's your turn to shoot. So the gladius is, an un is completely unhurt, let's say. So it has two damage points to start with and it has an armor of 10. So consulting the chart, you need a three up to damage it. So that's really good chances, guys. Especially if you've got three of these things shooting, because again, they're a two plus accuracy, so you're gonna hit most of the time. Now, I said these are good dedicated anti-tank units, but they're really dedicated heavy anti-tank units. Because if you shoot at something like, say, a wee little rapier tank, you need a four up to damage it, because it has one structure point, and then it has armor 10. Now, that's not too terrible, but if you start shooting at stuff like, say, the Wolverine, that the UCM can bring, the little uh, death buggies with the Gatling guns or the missiles. Those things are going to be significantly harder to kill because you will need a 6 up to damage them. So these are really good against heavy vehicles. So heavy tanks, heavy walkers, like, like I said, stuff like the Hades for PHR, these are going to be the bane of that model's existence. The other thing to note about the gravity cannon is that it's a minus one modifier when shooting at things like skimmers. So shooting at uh, other Shaltari units or Scourge Grav Tanks, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So much like their bird eater cousin, uh, these guys have the climb rule. So you can get them from here to here. And this, again, it opens up so many options because it gives you height advantage. It gives you better view of the battlefield. And if your opponent is bringing something like, say, a Hades or, uh, you know, anything of equal mass, like a Cayman or whatever, then being able to get up on top of buildings like this and set these guys up here, that is huge. Because now you have a very commanding view of all this area over here, and you've got this insane gun designed to take down very heavy items. So, yeah... The Tarantulas and the Bird Eaters are huge board control units. So yeah, that is the Tarantula and Bird Eater Battle Striders. Like I said, these are a new unit for the Shaltari, uh, released not all that long ago. Uh, I didn't mention this, but the Tarantula is also mass 1.5, so you can drop out two of them out of an Eden. Uh, so you can drop you can drop a full squad of six Tarantulas out of a Gaia, which is frankly a little bananas, but you know. What are you going to do? It's awesome. So yeah, these guys are really cool little units and they add so much versatility to a Shaltari list and they add a lot of board control because they can climb. So if you're getting a Shaltari army, I do recommend picking up one or the other, maybe both, getting a squad of one of each. Because uh, again, their uh, support choices for the bird eater and then the tarantula is a standard choice. So they can fit into pretty much any list and they fill a lot of roles. And by having these, you now have the means to do a pretty much dedicated all walker list for Shaltari, which is awesome because as fun as it is to mix, sometimes you just want to do a themed list that's all walkers or all tanks. So yeah, the Tarantula and Bird Eater Battle Striders are an excellent choice for any Shaltari player. Uh, and if you're interested in getting a Shaltari army done through Blue Table Painting, be sure to send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com and talk to Steve. He'll get you a quote, he'll get you set up, and we can get you an awesome looking army in no time. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in for part four of our Shaltari tips and tactics videos where I will be discussing tanks for the Shaltari. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you later.